What's up guys, a quick little video comparison between the A7R3 and the A7R2 in video mode. Now, we remember that the A7R2 was uh, kind of handicapped in terms of full frame. Um, the ISO performance kind of limited you to ISO 800 or so. Anything higher would get really grainy. So right here you can see full frame mode on the R3, and the R3 is a huge improvement, I'd say about three stops. Now, Sony does recommend to still shoot uh, in Super 35 mode on the R3 rather than full frame because it does give you like a slightly sharper image, but uh, the advantage you get in low light is actually pretty huge. Um, the other thing that I wanted to do was compare the R3 in full frame versus the R2 in Super 35, which was its best low light mode. And um, even here you see a clear advantage in the R3 at full frame. Towards the end of this video, in the high ISOs, there's at least a third stop advantage so really the takeaway here is that you'll want to stick to full frame mode anytime you shoot any low light or high ISO video. I would almost just switch to Super 35 in only very specific cases. Anytime you want to be, you know, a little zoomed in or maybe get that tiny bit of extra detail in 4K. And that's it guys, so stay tuned for a lot more videos in 2018. Make sure to subscribe and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody.